So we've got another Black Series figure here. This is a Walmart exclusive. Wasn't supposed to ship until February, and lo and behold, here on January 16th, it showed up. Oh my goodness. So I'm pretty sure this is just the same mold as the other Boba Fett that we have. We'll take a look at that in a minute. But um, this is another Mandalorian figure. We've had so many Mandalorian figures. Uh, this is considered the Tython version of Boba Fett. So when we first see him in his armor, kicking butt, and all that stuff. Let's open him up and take him, check him so out. I'm going to take this figure as an opportunity to address an issue we've been having of the Boba Fett tax. We've been looking at this last year, both TBC and Black Series. And this last week, Hasbro did a Q&A where they said the reason that the Boba Fetts have been more expensive is not because of the tooling, which is what Hasbro's always told us is what costs the money, is the tooling, tooling and paint apps, right? But because of the assembly. Mostly, they, they were referring to these tubes right here and, and all that to, to be able to add in. All these Boba Fetts are getting these tubes on here to make it more accurate. And they're cool and they're very nice, but they're saying it's because of the assembly of that as to why they're more expensive. Do you buy it? I don't know. Anyway, let's look at this figure here. So he has the very roughed up armor here. Um, he has the the uh, ammo across his belt. You can see lots of weathering on the gauntlets there. His face is the recovered face. It doesn't have all the white and everything across it like we have on the other one. Um, you can see the back. And then he has his jet pack, which is colored like it was in Return of the Jedi with the repair piece going across where Han Solo hit. It would have been nice if that was a little more molded, not just painted. Um, he has his helmet, which looks really good. Curious as to how similar that is to Cobb Vance there. He has his blaster. Right. There we go. There we go. Right there. And he has his pistol right here. Of course, the pistol will fit in the uh, holster right here, maybe. There we go. Get around the backpack underneath the arm. There we go. So we can, oh, and this jetpack fell off. Dang it, Han Solo. All right. Uh, the viewfinder does come down on his helmet. So all in all, it's a pretty cool figure, although I'm pretty sure he is a repaint or same mold as the other Boba Fett we got. We'll go take a look at that here in just a minute then. So this is the Cobb Vanth helmet right here. This is the Boba Fett helmet. They look to be exactly the same. Paint job looks exactly the same. Look at that. Interesting. Pretty cool. Here's the previous Deluxe Fett we have, and here's our new one. And you can see they're almost identical other than paint and belt. The belts are different, uh, which causes a little bit, but it's the same mold on both figures. Same everything, it, just right down. So it's really just almost a full repaint, just a different belt for the most part. Here you can see kind of the difference in paint on the different fate on the two faces. So this one has the more white on it, the older one. You can still see some white on it. There's a lot of similarities there. I guess it's not per, uh, exactly. Under the light, you can really see that. 